بحلب مدينتي لسه عم صور هذا الشيء اللي عم بيخلي معنا لوجودي ما حدا منا كان عنده أي فكرة كيف رح تتغير حياتنا للأبد حمزة أنا حامل سما 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 عملت هالفيلم مشانك بدي اياك تفهم شو اللي كنا عم نقاتل مشانه سما أنا بعرف إنك عم تفهم شو عم بصير. بقدر شوف هالشي بعيونك. ما عم تبكي مثل أي طفل عادي. long hours of just sitting and watching, watching, watching things. Uh, but when we were working on the film itself as a process, it was something totally different. Because you are just not, you are not just watching a uh, thing, but you are also being asked about who is this person, what the background of this, who is this man, who is like, what this world about. And it's all like opening a lot of pain and suffering. But at the same time, it was also a big responsibility because I wanted the film to be very perfect. I want it to be as really what I feel through the whole years. It's also about the, the result of all this experience through the five years, which is, it's not easy to, to understand it, especially if you, you've just coming out from Lost. Uh, we started the film after three months when after we uh, were displaced out of Aleppo. And it was just, you know, like two years of trying to be okay and normal and trying to um, think more about what the result of this, more than about your, your personal pain or your personal suffering. When it's shot well, it gets charged with emotion. It's like the footage has emotion. And I think that's one of the most incredible things about what Wad's, Wad's footage is, what she did, is it has this life, this spirit. And so from almost the first point uh, of, of sitting with her and going through stuff to the end, it was still having this emotional effect on me. I was still like being moved to tears by the three brothers scene or the woman crying like, please film this, you know? They were cutting into my heart and also, but also feeling the incredible joy, like seeing these two messing about in the snow or whatever it was. And uh, so it was, a, it was a sort of intensely emotional experience. And it also came with a real feeling of responsibility, as Wad said, to do it right you know, to make sure that this incredible lives that they'd led and the archives she gathered would reach people in the way that I sort of felt certain that it could. Very shocking. There are several moments that I hadn't really realized that we, like, I'm surprised like with some, in some moments at the hospital with a mask or the blood and then I see myself and I was like, I can't remember this day. I can't remember that I was, I remember that I'm working in the hospital. I can't remember this day. Like when this massacre happened, I can't remember that I treated that little child. So like when you're in the middle of the, the chaos and the danger and all of that, you just like act. You don't really think about all the small details. But when you see it like from a screen in a safe place, you see like there's several details that I can't see on a screen that I can't remember. I, uh, I can't remember that I lived through it. I've never expected that people will have that con connect and they will be really want to know more. Like people not just stay and watch the film, but even they stay for the Q&A. They ask us a lot of questions and even when we walked out, people were just 
follow us. They want to, to hear more about the story. They want to ask us, what can we do? Like this question means not just like people watch and care, but people really want to make difference. And this is the whole point of not just my film for Sama, but also for the whole point of journalism, of documentaries, of how people really care about each other and they want to make something. It's not just like show, it's more about like action. Like when we were making it, everyone was sort of, or in our team, we were like, oh, people are tired of Syria, you know, there's, there's fatigue, there's been films about it, you know, the world sort of is washing its hands of that. And really to see the reaction in all these different places where we've been, that one of the best things about the festival circuit is connecting with audiences from France to north of England to here in the States. Nantucket um, and Mexico we were at you know and we couldn't be there because we're here but we heard there was an amazing response in Mexico to it and I think the real thing that all three of us have taken from this is just this hope you know people aren't apathetic people do care and they do want to engage understand and actually try and help you know that sense that we're all in a world in tumult but actually now everyone it feels like they're beginning to wake up and be like well what can we all do to support each other and um, that I think is the the hope that we've taken out of it <laughs> سامحيني <تصفيق>